Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Here in South Texas. Uh, it's just in a, a live stream, live chat with a friend of mine. We're talking about uh, expats and why do they go to the Philippines and and um, some of them go over there for crazy reasons. Some people are escaping things. Um, everybody has their own life. You don't know about what's going on with everybody. But um, I gotta say, most of the guys, I, don't, I can't say percentage or nothing. You know, you retire and then you go find a place to go to. And the Philippines is a great place to retire. Um, you know, if you don't know nothing about the place, please look it up. Uh, you go over there, have respect for the people. Very nice people in the Philippines. And uh, the topic had come up that people are nice to you because uh, they know you have money. Well, that's not always the case, but we're talking about a third world country, a different, it's a different place, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I watch people over there do things that we wouldn't even dream of doing. Like even guys who are working on the house, they don't have a ladder, they make, they make something. You get families who have one motorcycle and there's 20 people in the family. Well, they'll make a sky, like sky lab, my uh, father will call it. Get the motorcycle with the two seats on each side. Like we bought gas for a family. There had to be at least eight people on that motorcycle, including the grandma, everybody, just to go to the wet market to buy food. But they were all smiling. Picture that here. People see stuff like that here and like, oh, they're crazy. What are they doing? The West, you got it all twisted here, you know. You, we think that we know everything, that's not the case. And um, some guys go because they're just fed up with here. And it's not that they can't pay their bills. They've been doing that their whole life. You get somebody in their 60s. And uh, if my wife was closer to my age, we'd be in the Philippines. We built a house there. Somebody asked me, what am I going to do there when we go back? Well, we have a house there. What do you think we're going to do? You know, we're going to visit some place we haven't been to, um, some white sands, beaches and stuff. We need a break from this place. And uh, shout out to Filipinos uh, who are working, Filipina women who are working and uh, their husband's home like me. I'm retired. I have my income. We pay our bills. And then they got the clowns who say stuff like, well, you should be providing. She should be home. Well, kiss my ass. You know, and uh, the next guy said something about I should go to the gym, lose weight. You can kiss my butt, too. You ain't in my shoes. You don't know what I'm doing. That's just a side note for you clowns or trolls, whatever you want to call them. I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching our channel. I'll keep these videos up. Try to give as much information as I, I have. I can only give it a year and four months of my time in the Philippines, and that was during COVID. Uh, check out the information channel. It's a really nice guy. There's some guys putting out great content. You know, and, um, you know, just something to think about. You know, reasons why men go to the Philippines. Well, they have some of the most beautiful women in the world over there. Most talented people. One of the best boxers uh, they ever produced is Manny Pacquiao. Um, you got all kinds of talented folks. And... This is my third marriage. I've been married six years. My first two only lasted two, three years, and it was a joke. And they cheated on me, you know what I mean? I wasn't going to blame it all on them, but um, I'm very happy with my wife and my son over there holding the fishing pole. <laughs> and I just put my daughter down for a nap. But I'm blessed and can't wait to get back to the Philippines. And shout out to you guys who do actually go there to retire. You find a place, you chill, you find a cheap rent. Don't eat fast food all the time. If you're going there to go to bars and just pick a woman, well, good luck for you. You're going to wind up coming back here. Anyways, thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend, guys.